he is a great musician and I gave him something that made him even better. Mm. So for him it's, it's a gift. Tommy is just pure energy. I mean, when he bounds onto the stage, literally, he's on fire. The passion, the vitality, get up and go, it's mm. contagious. I just love working with him. Here because always we're, when we are here in Krakow, so we always buy the candies. Okay, okay. <laughs> So I have to buy before I'm coming back. David, I'm very interested in any creation, any production of the highest quality, not the commonness, the commonplaceness, be it in the arts, you know, music that we create, or in this case, something we may not consider as terribly important, cables. They were not most important, but for sure they will not cut the sound of the microphone, because uh, mostly cables cutting the sound, the highs, the bottom end, the mids, and uh, the thing is to make cables that will the sound will go through, you know. Uh, so this is the most important. And also, uh, I made different cables for different style of music because there is no perfect cable, there is no perfect guitar, there is no perfect per percussion for each kind of music. You know? And this is my philosophy, so I, I'm going with this direction from many, many years. Is there one there? Oh yeah, let's do that. I enjoy walking in this weather. Yeah. It's cold, but it's, you know, you breathe fresh air. It's invigorating for me. I approach it with the philosophy of pushing my limits and uh, creating that loop in inspiration by working with this attitude. So when I meet someone who carries that same philosophy, that same spirit in what they do, I can really appreciate it. Let's talk a bit about the various instrument cables, the guitar, keyboards, bass. Yes, I made um, cables for individual music style and instruments. Like I said, there's no perfect cables for everything, so I split it. Uh, I have the precision cable. Uh, it makes for it made for blues and rock style. Yeah, beautiful sound. It for it's for Steve, Steve Lukather using them. Also, Eric Gales using them. So it's kind of a round sound. Yes, uh, round, there's, there's a roll on the high selective, but not too much selective. It's there is a amazing flow, a amazing highs that. Um, deep highs, you know, so it's not uh, harsh. Yes. So it's a bit of a roll off on the yes. high end. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Um, then I have uh, for keyboards and electric guitar and acoustic guitar, someone that wants to buy only one cable to have all the instruments. So I made the gold, you know, <laughs> um, mm -hmm. uh, the balance. So, so some bite, it has some bite, some more, uh, yes. some grit. Yes, exactly. Okay. So this is the perfection uh, gold. Uh, I have. Uh, I have also made cables for heavy metal. It's uh, called Selective Pro. It's very precise and very selective. And even if you connect uh, each of them, you make an A-B test, you, you can hear the difference. And uh, it's, it's not small difference, you know, marketing or whatever. It's really there. Uh, for example, uh, Richard from Photos from Guns N' Roses, uh, he said to me that the riff parts he recorded on Studio uh, Selective Pro, mm -hmm. but when he wants to play a solo, he connecting the precision because it flows, you know. So it's he really understands good cables, uh, and I think this is the right way because cables are a part of our sound. It's like an instrument. Uh, a few 
months ago they searched someone new for this job, you know. It was really? a big addition. Yeah. yeah. Audition. Audition. And... Huge addition. Yeah. <laughs> because it, you have to also be healthy because every day you have to go. Okay, so I believe you also have a specialized base cable. Yes, I, I have made a special cable for bus. I call it bus series. And uh, what is much different from any other cables in the world, it's it's working cable on two sides. You know, it depends how you connect it. One plug it's written rock, and other plug it's written patch. So depend what you put in in your guitar, you get different sound. I mean different. If you have the rock sound, uh, you get more round sound, uh, rich sound. You know. Um, um, warmer but if you put the punch you have less low mids and more highs and uh, mid highs so it's better for punch so I have customers that pass they depend what song they want to uh, play or what they are recording they changing the cable and all they have to do is reverse yes. which end of the cable they plug into their bass yes and into the amp that's that is to me it seems like it's extraordinary and can you explain what is happening within the wiring, how you can achieve this? Okay, what I can say, uh, it's passive, okay, no battery, nothing inside, it's, it's only a plane with, uh, uh, with the copper inside. Okay. And also plugs, plugs have huge influence on sound and it's very important uh, to know how to match accessories like plugs mm -hmm. it to uh, some specific copper. So this is all dependent on? Yes, it, it's depend on the plugs, on the copper, uh, what kind of the clarity of the copper as well. There is a lot of clarity. Um, it's also a mix of different coppers in one wire. Uh, it's also very important the solder itself. Uh, from what I'm doing the solder. Most of my cables are uh, with extra silver solder. We, we use silver inside the solder and uh, very important also the temperature of how we do it. Since I'm using the same copper for many years I know how to play it also well, what I want to achieve. This is the definition of nuance of concerning yourself with detail. This is beautiful. Unpack a few and show us, talk, talk us through. Yes, since you are making the best as you can, I thought that you need the best cables as well to achieve uh, another level of, of the sound that uh, it can be changed really by the cables only, uh, if, by using your gear. And what I, what I bring today for you, it's my two different cables and um, you to try on your percussion because those two are much different and those two will give you a um, really high level sound. Uh, one of them is the Studio Pro. This cable is quite selective and precise. So I believe you will find the right place for them. And the second one is uh, Harmony Gold. And uh, this one is um, for more headroom open sound. I believe you will find also and uh, it will be great uh, if you can test it of course in your percussion and to find the best uh, position for them. So you recommend these two cables for different parts of the kit? Yes of course. Can you tell me what you would recommend for the condenser mics on the hi-hats and overheads compared to the yes. toms and the kick and snare. I think the Harmony Gold will be the best there because the headroom, the highs are really great here and not harsh so you will get pleasant highs uh, and for the kick and stuff like that it must be you know, selective and tight. This is, the, this is the cable that you can use there. The studio. studio Pro and also for uh, toms and snare you would consider yes. Studio Pro? Yes, this is my opinion uh, from my experience. But open to experimentation. Yes, please change course. and uh, make yeah. the match, match the most important.
So cables I showed you before, uh, those were from my um, Guitar Pro market, you know, for, for the musicians, for the studio recording also. And since uh, a little bit more than two years, I started to make cables for audio for market, you know, for the for the customers who buy your CDs and they want to get the best possible sound, you know. Yeah. And uh, sometimes they hear too much, you know, <laughs> because it depends how the mix is made, you know. Yeah. Uh, a lot of times uh, the mix is made wrong. I'm not speaking about yours in overall. Uh, and uh, No, definitely not mine. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you know, the problem is that the guys that sitting and doing the mix in the studio recording, they're using, for example, cables that they don't get uh, the sound that the audiophile guys from uh, in, in their home they have mm -hmm. and I one of the things I made first in the audiophile market it's um, it's a digital cable it's a USB cable from A to B um, all of you most of you will say it's not possible because it's digital cable it's possible and uh, it's really highly suggest suggested that you try um, those that tried the the cables is, is there so i find that very interesting because you know most people would say well it's digital so it's all zeros and ones yes. so what difference can the the cable make you yeah. know the cheapest ones perform as well as a high end yes. audio file yes. but um i tend to to, to believe uh, the opposite is true. There are many manufacturers that are making high-end USB cables. Most, mostly they are not made from the same cables that digital cables made. They are made much different. Uh, we are not speaking about how it's made, but um, need to listen. You know, there's, it's very hard to make a proof that, you know, on the computer that this cable makes the sounds different. But if you listen to it, you hear it's different, you know. What it makes it, it makes it less digital than it is. It makes it, the sound is more warmer, uh, more pleasant, uh, more deep, you know, the instrumental from the bottom, okay? Mm -hmm. And this is only the first level cable I have. I have two levels higher than this one. And this one won last year uh, Best Product 2020 in one of the magazines of the, for the best. Uh, he won also different other uh, awards as the best ca USB cables. Uh, we are speaking about price to quality. You know? Right. Uh, so this is this is the cable, one of the first cables I made in the audio for market, and uh, just and try. I, I mean, apart from the audio file qualities, how about aesthetically? This is an amazing cable. This model it's called beautiful. Emerald. Okay, so yeah. emerald, as we know, it's, it's also green. Uh, we have the two higher version, uh, sapphire and uh, ruby. Mm. Uh, so they also different design. But design, it's uh, it's a part of it. Uh, what is most important is, is the sound. Okay, so you mentioned two other kinds, the uh, sapphire and sapphire, ruby. Yes. They're more high end. So that would be yes. level two and three. Yes. Okay, that, Ruby, that's amazing. Yes, wow. it's right now the best seller really because everyone that tried this cable, they they test it, taste it, and they want more. They right? taste it, and you want more, of course, yeah. like we do with most things in life. So it's basically like going from, let's say, this is the the BMW, and then the others, the Sapphire and the Ruby, uh, yes. Rolls Royce. Exactly. It's okay. very like this. Okay, okay, that's... You need to hear it, you know. No proofs, no schematics, just plug in and listen. Okay, David, do you have any hot takes, hot tips on how to best connect your power to the power source for the ultimate quality? Yeah. First of all, you have to check your face uh, in your room if it's connected right. Many times, you know, people connecting the wires wrong, and uh, with amplifiers, and it's, it's really influence on sound. It will work, 
but it will not work properly. Uh, second thing is uh, to use a good power strip. Um, power strip that will be connected uh, to one socket and to this power strip all music device you work at the same time to avoid the uh, ground loop for example. And so it's really important to connect them all together and of course to use uh, good power cables. Um, power cables really can make a very big difference. I highly suggest to try.